Scotty Reed, Black Talk Radio News, reporting on the attack on Sharmika Moffitt down in Winsboro, Louisiana. This story has gone viral on the internet because it has been alleged that she was walking on a trail about 8 o'clock p.m. on Sunday evening when she was attacked. Uh, the number of assailants is not exactly known. There's reports that it was one to three assailants. The ethnicity of the assailants has not been released either. Um, some people are saying she was attacked because she was wearing an Obama t-shirt. Again, we cannot confirm that. The uh, sheriff's department, the local sheriff's department said that she was not wearing any sort of political attire, uh, but there are still questions surrounding that as she was set on fire. So we don't know if her clothing was destroyed. We don't know why, how the sheriff's department came to this uh, conclusion that she wasn't wearing any political attire. So again, those are unconfirmed reports. Uh, still not clear on how many people attacked her. There are reports that possibly the Ku Klux Klan wasn't involved uh, the ethnicity the ethnicity of her attackers has not been revealed by local authorities now the fbi and louisiana state police are involved in the investigation so that does tend to lead one to believe that there this was a hate crime now i did get a call from a person who is from winsboro uh, Louisiana. Uh, she was a Caucasian female and she just wanted to see if we had any uh, information to confirm what has been circulating around the web. Again, we put in uh, requests or inquiries to several family members still waiting to hear back from them. They have not made any public statements to uh, the local media as of yet. So uh, we just don't want to jump the gun and, and report false information or unconfirmed information. Uh, um, but we're still working on trying to get that for you. But this individual who called me says she's from that region, um, says she travels back there about once a year, that she doesn't like it there because it is uh, very racist, uh, said the N-word is openly used by residents in Winsboro, Jonesboro. And uh, again, this was a Caucasian female. She says she wouldn't be surprised if the local sheriff's department is covering up uh, the political, possible political nature of the attack. Uh, but my contention is, is that uh, politics aside, this was an attack on a black female of uh, African descent. And so uh, we need to follow that and not necessarily get caught up in unconfirmed reports. So we do know that this woman was attacked in her hometown while walking 8 o'clock p.m. Sunday evening on a walking trail and she was set on fire. She is uh, currently in the intensive care unit or the burn center of LSU um, Hospital, which is in Shreveport, Louisiana. I will continue to follow Follow this story, track it, and report it. As soon as I um, get anything, hear anything back from the family members, I will get that information out as well. As we would like to know, uh, what's her financial condition? Does she need help in uh, paying her medical bills if the family needs any help? So we'll continue to follow this story. This is Scotty Reed. I'm out.